Hey you guys, Agent B here. It seems like every time I talk to you lately, I'm in the car. <laughs> so I'm sheltering in place in my car while I go do one thing and come back and go do one thing, come back. And I got my mini hand sanitizer. I've gone through about five of these in the last couple of days. So trying to be safe. I hope you are too. Uh, but I want to talk to you about what's coming up or what just came up. I was just just the other day, I think earlier this week or late last week, when the president announced about giving a moratorium or some relief to people for their mortgages or people not being able to be evicted and that type of stuff. Um, and so he kind of announced that. And then Newsom came out, Gavin Newsom, our governor, came out and announced uh, they'd be doing the same thing. And then some of the banks actually... Um, stepped up and said they would be taking care of people as well. I got my first text yesterday from a client asking me about a, a relative of theirs that lives up in the Valley area who's has his, had his, uh, his wages uh, cut back and he'll possibly be getting laid off. And so he already reached out to his mortgage company. Um, they told him, he had a couple of, of options, um, but one of them was to defer his payments. Um, another one was basically move those payments to a later date and then have to um, have to pay those on a balloon payment. And so, you know, they're kind of working it out with them, but that is what's going to start happening right now. Uh, and that's why in my yesterday when I talked um, in my weekly email that I sent out to everybody and I posted this on Facebook as well and on my Instagram and stories or on Instagram TV um, I talked about that the market is definitely going to be you definitely going to see some kind of a change we don't know how extreme it's going to be because of this um, kind of mortgage help people are going to be getting it's going to be different than a loan mod where people got in these bad loan modifications and they got screwed and lost their houses so I think it's going to be a lot different than that, but that's why I was telling you in my email yesterday, I think this is going to take several months before we see something, if it's going to be major happening. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm driving, so I'm not looking at you, not giving you your full attention, but I got to do it to the road. Um, but I think you, we are going to see some changes, but what's happening now is it looks like, I don't want to say people learn their lesson because people never learn their lesson <laughs> And saying the lenders learn their lesson, they don't learn their lessons either. They keep seeing, everyone tries to get away with as much as possible in a lot of these situations. Not everyone, I don't want to say everyone, that sounds wrong. Um, but people try to get away with as much as they can, or lenders try to get away with as much as they can, or the institutions do, or whatever it is. You know, people are always trying to do that, and, you know, then we end up in these situations. So, um, but like I was saying, what's happening right now is that this person that I know, my client, her brother might be getting laid off and so he's already talking about what he can do with his loan and they're gonna do this for three months. Since so they're doing this three month window where they're actually gonna defer um, or move the payments to a later date and then there's a balloon payment whenever that date is. Um, so they can do a couple different options there and so, but it started already. I mean, literally this got announced like last week or the beginning of this week. Newsom just announced it, and I've already had my first phone call from a client about it. So, you know, and I'm sure these here, you need to remember if this is going to be a situation that you are in, you want to make sure. I talked to one of my lenders, you know, Cameron, Cameron Kubak is my lender that I use a lot. Um, but the key is, is if you're in this situation, and Connor, you uh, do real estate, so. Um, you should let your clients know this if you have someone come to you with this situation. They need to go online or talk to their lender and get the forms filled out immediately. Because if this ends up being like loan modifications, or ends up being like solar credits or whatever else this state does, eventually it could run out. And if it runs out, then your clients or my clients will be screwed. And so we want to make sure that if they have any inkling that something could happen to them going through these programs from what I understand you need to talk to a lender for this obviously you're a tax guy for this but from what I understand and I'm not a tax guy or a lender what I understand is that doing one of these modifications with the loan this deference um, or moving these payments 
like this is actually a lot better on your credit than actually missing a payment or missing a couple of payments. So it's much better to do this type of program than it is to um, go ahead and try to miss a payment and then see what happens and roll the dice that you're going to get some kind of relief. So if you have, if you know somebody or you're somebody that, or you have a client or something, or you're somebody that thinks you may be getting less hours or getting laid off and it's going to affect your loan payments, call your lender immediately and have that discussion with them. And then if you ask your lender, you know, are you going to, is this kind of against my credit? Because all the, a lot of times they don't have to report something like this. And again, I'm not a lender. I'm not a tax guy. From what I understand, though, they don't have to say, you know, hey, um, sorry, I moved my car because there's a trash truck coming. <laughs> Uh, they don't. They don't have to say, you know, hey, I have to report this. It might be something where they don't, and so it doesn't affect your credit at all. So, very important. I just want to tell you about that. Um, it's the first call I've gotten, but literally, it was just announced like two days ago, and we're already getting called. I already got this call or this text yesterday. So, again, I, I tell everybody. I think you know, it's so funny. Our office is having this this contest on calling people and writing notes and doing pop buys and all this type of stuff where I don't even do the contest anymore because this is what I, I do this for a living. You know, you guys know that a lot of you guys got text messages from me in the last couple of days or maybe a personal phone call or you may have received, you know, a letter, a note from me um, checking in. And when I say I'm here to help any way I can, this is what I'm talking about. It could be real estate or non real estate related. It could just be advice. Like I said, it could just be Mike LeBlanc call and say, Hey, Brian, what's happening? And that's it. And just, you know, let, let's open up a, a, a little bottle of, of some scotch, some single malt that you might have some lag of uh, that'd be nice. Um, we can, and we can drink from a distance if you want, but <laughs> it's, that's what I'm doing right now. You guys, and there's going to be a lot of this type of damage control type of stuff. And a lot of where I can try to help out or point people in the right direction. Um, but with this loan stuff, this is no joke. And this is going to be what affects the market is these loan load modifications thanks dude these loan modifications um and you need to make sure that you're talking to an expert in it and i'm the expert as much as possible and if you need to talk to a different lender maybe you don't trust the guy on the phone with you i can put you together with a lender to talk to him and he'll give you some advice and maybe the questions to ask and those type of things and that way you know you're not being hosed so yeah so I'm just telling you, that came up. I also had a client ask me about um, someone that does wills and trusts. And I, I sent her to somebody for that. So I have a lot of connections, you guys. So I'm here to help you. If you need anything at all, please let me know. I'm actually just pulled up uh, to my property here. One of the properties on Golden, the one up the street up here, is closing today. So we're really excited about that one. That was a FISBO. Remember that FISBO I talked about, you guys? Um, that one's closing today. They closed in 21 days. So, and we got that, uh, we got the, the FISBO, uh, really good price on that property. She was hoping for, you know, about 40 grand less. And, we, and I, I pushed it and I got her a great price for that property for the, for everything going on with it. So you're welcome. <laughs> so I won't, I'll tell you later what's happening with that, with any other property she has. It's, it's kind of a weird mm -hmm. situation right now, but, um, but I'm at the other property on Golden. We're pulling the staging out of this one because this one closes on Monday. So that's two we're closing, thank goodness, because uh, we don't know where the market's going to go. So we definitely want to get these closed as we're going. Uh, but maybe I'll check in a little bit later or maybe tomorrow because i got a couple more stories of things going on with this market changing. And I want you to understand what's happening, what you can and can't do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I know we're just a couple days into this whole lockdown or a couple or a week or two into it, whatever it is, but, uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, reach out to me if you need anything at all. I'll do my best to try to answer questions or help out any way I can. Of course, that's what I do for a living. Um, the real estate, I guess is on the side, but Hey, <laughs> it's part of real estate. You guys, it's, I'm, I'm here to be the everything for you guys. I'm agent B. Okay, I'm not Agent A out there feeling great about himself. I'm Agent B. I feel good about me and good about you guys. So I'm here to help you. So reach out anytime. And don't forget the hashtag Agent B contest is going on right now. I already got people. And Bridget, I texted Dave. 
it's time to get competitive and get those points because I've got some clients that are posting some crazy stuff already or picking up some big points. I know you guys can win it this year. Come on. We need some big winners for the top prizes this year. I've changed up the prize structure. Um, there's going to be a lot of winners this year instead of one big winner and some small winners. going to do a lot of winners, but it's still going to be big at the top end for sure. So reach out to me anytime. Do it through Facebook. Do it through Instagram. Do it through text. Call me. Email me. You know, come on. Get a hold of me. All right? If you need anything at all, I'm here to help when you're ready. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go check on this house. See ya. Stay safe. Stay inside. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye.